Okay, we've retained another integral. This one's from the Vienna integration, be 2024, problem 58. We have the integral of sine cubed x over two plus cosine x dx. Okay, now the first thing we notice here is just, I've got cosine x in the denominator. Derivative of cosine x is minus sine x. Well, I have sine x in the numerator, but it's cubed. Well, what I can do is we can just kind of split this out and write it as sine squared x times sine x. And I could just kind of create the minus sign, but we don't want to change it, so let's create the minus sign here. So this is all still sine cubed x. And then before I rewrite this, I think what I'll do is we can use on this the identity that sine squared x is the same thing as one minus cosine squared x. The reason I'm doing that is I want like everything else to be cosine, so when we do the u substitution, like we'll have our derivative of our u value right here. But then we have this minus sine in front. So let's just use that to reverse the sine. So this is gonna become cosine squared x minus one times minus sine x. But now that we have this rewritten in this form over here, let's just go ahead and do our u substitution. So for my u, that's just gonna be cosine x. And like we said, d is gonna be minus sine x dx. And then I can just go ahead and substitute here. So this is gonna become u squared minus one here, everything here is gonna be a du. And then in the denominator, it's gonna become two plus u. I'm actually just gonna reorder it. Let's write it as u plus two here. And then here, what we're left with is gonna be a pretty easy integral, but I just wanna notice we've got a larger power in the numerator. This is the case where a lot of times you're gonna to wanna to do polynomial long division, and then usually I skip it, but this time I'm actually gonna do the polynomial long division just because it's not bad and uh, it goes pretty quick. So let's just do it. I want to divide u plus two into u squared minus one. When I do this, I really just want to focus on the lead term because I have this ordered where the highest power term is in each of these, so it like lines up nice. So just dividing u into u squared, that's gonna be u. Multiply u back by this, we get u squared plus two u. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract this, but the first part just becomes zero and this part is going to be minus 1 minus 2u. And then we'll just repeat this again looking at the lead term. Of course still the u here, but we want to look at this minus 2u over here. Dividing u into minus 2u, that's just going to be a minus 2. And then multiplying minus 2 times this, this is going to give me the minus 2u here. Minus 2 times plus 2, this is going to become minus 4. Again, subtracting these, the 2u's cancel minus one minus minus four it's going to become a plus four here plus four minus one that's just a three but then now at this point use like a higher degree than three we can't divide again so this is just going to be our remainder so i'll take what we found here put this back into the integral so what we found is we have this is going to reduce to u minus two and then for this last part the remainder needs to be over this so it's just going to be plus three over u plus two but now what we have here, this is just gonna be an easy integral. So let's just integrate it, back substitute, finish it off. Now going ahead with this, this first part's just gonna be power rule. So we can do that really quick. Integrating here, this is gonna be u squared over two. This one's gonna be minus two u. Integral here, this is just gonna be natural log. So we can write this as plus three natural log, absolute value u plus two. And now we just need to back substitute. So doing that here, this is gonna become, where u is cosine x is gonna become cosine squared x over two, minus two cosine x plus three, natural log. I can drop absolute value because cosine's never gonna be less than minus one. So this is always positive. So we'll just write it as parentheses, cosine x plus two, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good one from Vienna 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.